Hello, Mr. Shapiro. My name is Joey Stone. I'm from Vanden High School in Fairfield, California. I was just wondering what are your views on Colorado's new, I guess, option to push communism at all costs? To push? Communism. Communism? Uh, well, I mean, I'm not aware of the, the kind of provision that you're talking about in Colorado law. Uh, so I'd, I'd have to be familiar with, with what the provision is of law. Obviously, communism bad. Also evil. <laughs> also killed 100 million people. So I'm, I'm bewildered by people. I'm, I'm bewildered by people who, who are, are romantic toward communism. It's, it's, it is a, a gift of, being, of growing up in a... One, one thing that all the communists who live in America have in common is that they live in America. You know, it's, it's a, a, move to Cuba and then tell me how wonderful communism is without being a part of the prevailing regime. And it's, it's, it's easy for Michael Moore to talk about the glories of the, the Cuban healthcare system while he has his WGA card. Uh, it's, it's a little bit different when, when Michael Moore, you know, would have to live there, which of course he never will. The, the, the people who are the most anti-communism in America are people who left communist countries, right, who actually lived in these places. There's such an inherent level of ingratitude in America right now, it's astonishing to me. People who, people who were born on third base and think they hit a triple. People who, people who live in the most prosperous, free, and wonderful country in the history of the world, bar none, not close. If you could be born any time in any place, it would be right here and right now. You're guaranteed basically eight decades on this earth of health, wealth, and ease. And you're sitting around going, you know it would be better if we got rid of everything that undergirds this, and then we do stuff that's fair. And fair means what I like. So, well, I'm sorry, but the world did not begin spinning when you got here. The principles that you hold are not unique to you, and your wealth is not a natural part of life. People, people tend to just believe that this is normal, that what happens in America is normal, that the norm of human life is this. That is so not only historically ignorant, but just ignorant of contemporaneous circumstance anywhere outside the West. It, if, if people actually had the ability to take a time machine, then they might be a little bit more grateful for what it is they have here in the United States. And fortunately, there is a time machine. It's called an airplane. All you have to do is take that airplane to a third world country, and you will quickly recognize that the United States is a damned phenomenal place. <laughs>